and, uh, you come into it really fast and went out a little bit wide and, uh, and then they had like it's one part of the track that they changed quite a lot go through some tyres after the, the orange fence and was, you know just stop it going right around and I just come a bit wide to that so I knew I knew I was a little bit wide and just closed the throttle a bit and then as soon as the bike was straight just being greedy really like trying to save another like half a second because I'd gone a bit wide and I thought okay I need to get on the power now it opened out and I think the open kicked off a little stone or, or what and then I think the back hit one of the metal fence posts and like iron posts holding the orange fence up and yeah I just remember going over that little bus The bike was stuck in the footrest was stuck in the boot, so I couldn't get up and then the tire was spinning around a bit on the back. Um, I got the bike off me and stood up and I just had a lot of pain in the elbow straight away, so I got the bike off the track and it just the pain just gets worse and worse and um, pretty sure then that was that was that. Um, took me down in the ambulance um, and then took me up in the old off to the hospital and uh, that was that. The run was pretty well perfect, you know, a couple of small mistakes here and there, but nothing, you know, everybody, so you can't remember it all, you know, I've been up a few runs looking at it, um, but just sort of, like pretty well got it perfect to be honest. Um, you know, a couple of places got on the gas and the spins a little bit, but it was so dry and dusty that uh, the bike was like working real good on it. Jet and everything was perfect. Changed it before the run. Um, that's what I say. I was just like enjoying it so much. I think it started getting a bit giddy going up there. And, uh, it was just one that just a little mistake that turned into a big one. You know, I had no chance even to, to correct it. And just whatever it hit, it was just next time I was on full lock and I was you know high sided off it. But uh, it was good fun until then. And, Um, well, my elbow was the worst, that was the most painful when I did it. Um, I landed my chest a bit as well, so I knew it was probably bruise or something, but x-ray my elbow, that's fine, just a deep gash um, to the bone. Um, so, they just cleaned that out. That was probably the worst part, cleaning, cleaning the Erzberg mountain out of the elbow. Um, then a couple of cracked ribs, one of my vertebrae got a crack, but it's not, they said it's no, not much worse than the ribs, so it's no cost, you know, no problem really. Um, and then just bruising really, the elbow is bruising, the wrist is a bit sore. Um, I think when I landed, I think the elbow took most of it. Um, on the right hand side, the it's on the right wheel, really, so. I don't think I'll be too long. Should be hopefully a week or week or so. It should be that go out right. You know, I would imagine. Um, I've been to a lot in the past. I know how hard they are in the morning, but you get out of the bank, get you home, and get it resolved pretty quickly. Um, like now, you know, I don't feel too bad now. Even this morning they were real sore, but um, had some painkillers this morning. Should be okay. I'll be right through it. That's the main priority, you know. Um, and hopefully before that, I can get a chance to get out and do some tests.